my phone ring. That's your call. That's your cue. <laughs> it's a call. I'm getting this all turned around. Take two. QXI, where when you hear my phone ring, that's your cue to call. 2300 790. That was rough. The fifth caller this hour rips me off for Rod Stewart's latest album. Never a dull moment. I guess so. Southern 79 at 1140. It's called The Backstabbers. Actually, that's an old Chinese song about acupuncture and how you use it to cure lumbago. The Backstabbers. Har, 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 har. Look all around the world. It makes your hair baby soft. And it's gentle enough to use every day. You excited? with John Leader. Hot day with a chance of showers. High today, 90. Low tonight, 70. High tomorrow, 90 again. It's going to be warm, and that's for sure. 82 right now with David Gates and Brett. The guitar man. Hey, Show at 1146, and contrary to popular belief, my phone did not ring just then. That was Gary McKee walking around in his bell bottom pants. Uh -huh. But the phone will ring in minutes, and you can rip me off for Rod Stewart's Never a Dull Moment album. Here's the raspberries. Let's go all the way. Kind of a fruity name, but good rock and roll, man. Raspberries out of Cleveland. Go all the way. It's 1149. September 4th, 8.30 p.m. Soul Bowl 72 stars Mr. Soul, James Brown, and features the dramatics Bobby Bird, Stylistics, JVs, Detroit Emeralds, Miss Lynn Collins, and special guests. See the Soul Bowl stars plus the eighth wonder of the world, James Brown, Labor Day, September 4th at Atlanta Stadium, 8.30 p.m. Portions of the proceeds go to Sickle Cell and Drug Abuse National Foundation. Shake your head, shake your head. ID and arrests in the Buford Highway murder. This is WQXI Atlanta, Jim Hutto with the Noon Report. Governor Carter has decided to extradite former banker John D. Stiller to face embezzlement charges in Tracy City, Tennessee. Stiller was found in Decatur at the end of a six-month nationwide manhunt and turned himself in on other charges in a similar case in 1969 and 70 in Phoenix, Arizona. In the election results, 33-year-old Sam Nunn from Perry continues to widen his lead over former Governor Vandiver in the chase for Senator David Gambrell's seat. Nunn and Gambrell, it appears, will face each other in a runoff election and a broadcast debate in the meantime. Atlanta's Andy Young holds an almost two-to-one margin over second-place Weiss Fowler in the 5th District Congressional race. He'll face Rodney Cook in the November election. 7th District Congressman John Davis is still tight in the race against Dr. Larry McDonald of Cobb County. The count is 31,000 to 28,000. Davis leads. The U.S. command announces that American fighter bombers flew more than 300 strikes against North Vietnam on yesterday. From the QXI Sports Line, Denny McLean has recorded its first National League complete victory, providing a successful home debut for New Atlanta Braves manager Eddie Matthews. McLean breezed to an 8-4 triumph over the Astros after the Braves exploded for five runs in the first and another in the second. The Falcons coach Van Brooklyn has praised running back Bill Holland, a 17th round draft choice from Southern Cal. The fullback has missed most of the practice sessions with a pulled hamstring muscle, but as the Dutchman put it, Holland's in pretty good shape to be back. QXI News Time is 12.07.